What's going on, Antelope Army? This is your boy, Boss Antelope 86, back at you with another video. Today's topic, Slipknot. I know you guys are probably tired of these ranking videos. If you guys want to see any other type of video, put down in the comments what you guys want to see. Sit back, relax, join the herd. I'm going to rank every Slipknot album from worst to best. Now, this is my personal opinion only. If you have an album that you think it should be at one spot and isn't, let me know in the comments. As always, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And again, this is my own personal opinion. Number six, I'm going to start off with the gray chapter. Now, this is pro this was hard to put on. The gray chapter is probably one of the saddest albums of all time for Slipknot. Slipknot went through a lot. Um, in um, 2014, they lost Joey Dorison, and most importantly, they lost Paul Gray due to an accidental morphine overdose. The whole album was dedicated to him. I'm not saying the songs are bad. A couple of them are. Like, I get it. That they were all mellow and tony. But. I get it. They were paying tribute to Paul. I get it. I'm not judging them. I would do the same thing. If I was in a band. I would dedicate a whole album to a band member. That being said. A couple songs. That I liked. I liked the negative one. Uh, Sar Catastrophic. I think that's the most underrated song on the album. Oh, I like Nomadic Skeptic. Uh, what's another good one? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Devil and I. You know, those songs are good, and I get it. The Grey Chapter, tribute to Paul Gray, completely understand. It comes in at my number six spot. Number five, their recent album, We Are Not Your Kind. Now, this is where I start to lose people. What are you talking about? Their new album is great. Okay. Their songs are pretty good, except for Spiders. I didn't like Spiders. No, I'm not an arachnophobe. I didn't like the song Spiders. I just didn't think it was way heavier than Iowa. I mean, I get they were trying to go there. I felt like they didn't do good. Now, the songs themselves are good. I like So Way for, thir, Firth. Eh, easy for me to say. I like the uh, Unsainted, Red Flag, I like Critical Darling, I really, really, I think the best song, in my opinion on their album, is Birth of the Cruel, I love that song. The other ones, they're okay, Nero Forte is pretty good, um, the Liar's Funeral, that's a pretty good song, Orphan's okay, I didn't like Spiders, and Sword Coin, that's whatever. Yeah, I didn't think this album was good, to be honest. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that their album was terrible. It's better than the Grey Chapter. I'm sorry if I offended a few people. I just didn't think their album was good. I'm sorry. I just didn't like We Are Not Your Kind. I expected a lot, and I, got, I didn't get much. Number four, All Hope Is Gone. Oh, boy. 2008. It wasn't a bad year for Slipknot. The songs that they did were really interesting. Dead Memories was a good song. Snuff was a very sad song. So was Till We Die. <clears throat> the songs I liked. Psychosocial, you know, that's... It's a classic in its own right. Um, I liked All Hope Is Gone, the song... Uh, Gematria, that's a really good song. This Cold Black, I felt like that's an underrated song. <clears throat> you know, it's a very good album. Well, not very good. It's a decent album. Um, Execute, that's whatever. Uh, Jahina, I didn't really care for. Butcher Hook's okay. Um, yeah, it's Child of Brainy Time I liked, but then I kind of tuned out of it. Um, this album was pretty decent, but, um, yeah, I just didn't think it was a, 
good album. It was solid. I would give it like a 7 out of 10, basically. The songs were pretty good, just the f a few songs weren't that great. Number three. This one was a tough one. I gotta go with uh, the self-titled. I'm sorry. I know people love this album to death. I like it too. But the next two, I feel like, are a little more better. I'm sorry. I just think they are. The self-titled. It's got it, it's platinum. People say it's the best album they've had. I would disagree. The songs are good. I didn't like. I didn't care for the remixes. The songs I liked. Spit it out. Eyeless. I liked. Um. I like scissors. I really like scissors. Go out of your way to watch it. It's creepy. It's heavy. It's emotional. I loved it. Go out of your way to see Scissors. I, it's underrated. Um, Tattered and Torn. Me Inside. Um, oh, let's see. Oh, I like Eeyore. Eeyore's a, Eeyore's a good song. Um... The songs I didn't like, um, the beginning song, the bo, the bo, ah, the barcode song, which is all those numbers, I didn't like Purity. Purity, I get it, it's related to real events that happened. I liked it, but I, and then I didn't. I just didn't care for it. prosthetics, that's whatever. I, I got into it, but I didn't really like it that much. Yeah, the self taught album, it was a good album, just... Not good enough. Number two. Volume three, the Subliminal Versus. My, this was originally number one. Excuse me on that. I was thinking, I was, uh, um, writing this down last night, saying, okay, I'm going to put Iowa, number two, and then volume three, number one. But I'm like, you know what? No. I'll explain why I was number one here in a minute. Even though you already probably figured it out. The reason why Volume 3 Subliminal Verse is way better. In my opinion, way better than uh, the self-titled album. They use less profanity, which is kind of out of their, um, out of their um, comfort zone. Well, not comfort zone, but out of their range. Reg region? Yeah, region. Whatever. It's out, of, it's out of their comfort zone. Corey said that he didn't like the album. I think he did really good. I liked the bonus tracks. Uh, Screams don't, don't get close. I liked Vermillion, Vermillion Part 2. Before I forget, Duality. 3 Now, Welcome. The Nameless, The Blister Exists. I loved them all. But here's the thing. The songs I didn't like. I did not like Danger Keep Away. They made a full link um, version. I don't know why. I didn't like Danger Keep Away. I I didn't really care that much for Circle, though I saw the direction that they were going. Pulse of the Maggots, I liked, and then I kind of did it. Prelude 3.0, uh, 3 that, that's a pretty good song. It's actually really good. Um, But... Oh, uh, Volume 3 Subliminal Verse is a very, very, very good album. I highly suggest you guys listen to it. Comes in at number two. But number one has to be Iowa. Why Iowa? The Darkest Time in Slipknot's, um, in Slipknot's lifespan. Their, mu their songs are so, so heavy. They have emotion. They have the craziness. They have the intensity. You can feel the intensity in every song that they do. Five, five, one, five. Um, that happened on the same day that Sid's grandfather passed, and the screaming is actually Sid himself. People equal. What a, you know what I'm talking about? If you're a Slipknot fan, that's a very good song. That's one of the craziest songs that they did to this day. Um, Disaster Piece, um, Metabolic, New Abortion, I love that, I love New Abortion, Metabolic's very good, um, Left Behind, uh, what's another one, 
I was pretty good, even though I didn't like it that much. Um, Gently, that's a very, very good song. This album is probably, in my opinion, the best album that Slipknot has ever done. This is Slipknot at its best. At their darkest times, people were doing substance abuse. They went through drug abuse. They had trust issues, but they managed to come through together. This is Slipknot's best album, in my opinion. They put so much into this. The intensity is there. You have the craziness. You have the motivation. It's a very good album. I highly suggest you guys watch it. Or not watch it. Listen to it. It's very heavy. It's very emotional. It's very intense. And it's very dark. That is my list. Or that is my ranking. If you guys enjoy this video. And this countdown. Make sure to like. Comment. And subscribe. Join the herd. And all barmy. I will see you guys next time in the next video. Peace out. You nerds.